In this code sample, we define the class currencies exchange rate and we mark it with the annotation path, specifying CRX as the path that will invoke the RESTful web service uh, this class describes. Here, within this class, we have the definition for the function get currency exchange rate and this function is marked with the annotation get, meaning that it will be possible to um, access this function uh, using um, request with the HTTP method get. Here we specify the output um, that will be returned back to the client from this RESTful web service, in this case uh, simple text. Here within the definition for the function get currency exchange rate, the parameter currency name is marked uh, with two annotations. Uh, the default value, in order to specify the default value um, for this parameter if nothing is passed over, and here we specify that uh, the value passed over to the currency name should be the value of a query parameter, its name is currency meaning that if we want to um, invoke this web service, we should pass over um, a query string that includes currency uh, parameter and it should be with a value which is one of the currency exchange rate uh, symbols, for example um, ILS, shekel, or as you can see in this code, um, there are other options, for example, CA, and so on. Here, within web.xml, um, we still keep the value of this init parameter to be the name of the package where we define this class. And we also specify the servlet mapping for the um, uh, Jersey uh, RESTful servlet that takes care of everything.